Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki with MontanaCrochetCreations.com. In today's video, we are going to be making these really cute crochet face scrubbies. They're made with 100% cotton yarn. They're perfect for taking off eye makeup, uh, just washing your face, things like that. You can put them like in a really cute glass jar or have them stacked up in a dish right next to your sink. And they're the perfect little grab and go sort of a thing. So you're gonna need a few items for these little face scrubbies. We're gonna need some 100% cotton yarn. I decided to use the I Love This Cotton Yarn from Hobby Lobby. It's in the color turquoise. You're also going to need a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna need a pair of craft scissors and you will need a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. So go ahead and grab your supplies and we will get started here in just a few minutes on these cute face scrubbies. All right, so what we're gonna do to make these cute face scrubbies, we'll pull my sleeves up here, is the very first thing we're going to do is create a magic circle. So the way that I like to create my magic circle is I take my yarn and I lay it across my the bottom part of my hand and I just wrap it around the top of my finger. And I like to make sure that the yarn crisscrosses on the top right here. So then I'm gonna take my crochet hook and I'm gonna go underneath this very first piece of yarn right here. And I'm gonna grab my hook and as I come underneath that first part of yarn, I twist. So now you have, if you can see it, you have this twist right here. And then I grab my yarn that I'm holding with my pinky right there. And then I just pull it through that loop. And that right there is considered your first, is your chain one. So what we are going to do is we are going to chain two. So we're gonna do one more chain. And now what we're going to do is place 10 double crochet in this magic circle. This chain two right here does not count as a stitch. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that magic circle. We're gonna pull up a loop, we're gonna yarn over, pull through two of those loops, and then yarn over and pull through two loops again. That creates your very first double crochet. So let's do that again. We're gonna yarn over, go into that magic circle, and draw up a loop. We're going to yarn over again, pull through two loops, and yarn over and pull through two more loops. So we're gonna do that till we have a total of 10 double crochet. So that's two. We've got three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this is our last one for ten. So now what we're going to do is we're just gonna take this tail piece right here and we're just gonna pull that nice and tight so it closes up that little hole that was right there. And we're gonna come over here and we're going to slip stitch to this very first, the top of this very first double crochet. So insert your hook and then just pull through and then pull through that loop right there. Now what we're going to do is we are going to chain two and in this chain two space, if you can see here, I don't know if you can see, there's that hole right there. That's your chain two space. So we're going to place two double crochet in that chain two space. So there's one and two. Now we are going to place two double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So go ahead and place your two double crochet in every single stitch all the way around until you get back to the very beginning over here. When we get back to the beginning, we are going to slip stitch to the top of that very first double crochet. So go ahead and continue placing your two double crochet in every stitch around and I will meet you back here at the end of round two. All right, so we're at the end of round two and what we're going to do is slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. And at the end of round two, you should have a total of 20 stitches. So basically we have doubled up the size. So round one was 10 stitches, now round two is 20 stitches. 
So for round three, what we're going to do is we are going to chain two. And again, in that chain two space, we're going to place two double crochet. So we've got one and two. And then in the next stitch, we're going to place one double crochet. So then for the very next stitch, we're going to do two double crochet. And then one double crochet in the next stitch. So go ahead and continue working two double crochet in the next stitch and then one double crochet in the stitch after that. And we're going to do that all the way around until we come back to the beginning over here. And then we're going to slip stitch to the top of that very first double crochet. All right, so we're at the end of round three. And what we're going to do is we are just going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet and we're just going to fasten off our work. Now, if you wanted to continue and make this larger, you could go one more round bigger, and what you would do would be two double crochet in that chain two space, and then you would do two crochet, or one crochet in the next two stitches, and then you do two double crochet again, and then one crochet in the next two stitches, and you would repeat that all the way back around. But I like this size right here. I think it's absolutely perfect for sitting next to the sink in the bathroom, and it works really well for any sort of makeup removal. So we're gonna fasten off our yarn, and now what we're going to do is we are going to grab our yarn needle and we're just going to weave in our yarn tails. And I like to start here in the back and weave in my yarn tail back here around and I like to go in the direction of the stitches and I like to go around three times. Now remember when you're weaving something in, you want to go back and forth or around at least three times, so then that way it does not come undone in the wash whenever you wash them in the washing machine. So there's our third, and I think I'll do one more, so a fourth, and I'm just kind of following that circle around. So let's go ahead and clip that. Get rid of that piece of yarn, and now we're just going to weave in this little yarn tail up here. And it's the same sort of thing. What you wanna do is just kinda of go back and forth three different times. So I flip it over to where I can see the wrong side of the project. And I'm going to take and weave my needle through the back of this face scrubby right here. And then I'm going to go back over in the same spot. And then I'm going to go one more time in over the same set of stitches. And that's it. So now when you wash it in the washing machine, it'll be nice and secure and it won't come undone. So let's get rid of that and the yarn needle. And that's it. You have a super simple crochet face scrubby that you could, that obviously this worked up really quickly. You could work up I don't know, a set of 10, 15 of them. I have six here, so then this is seven. So you just work up a bunch of them and get a glass jar. Like you can get those little glass jars with the lids from like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joann's, anywhere like that. And stack them up inside there, tie it with a ribbon, and then you got a really cute gift idea. So anyway, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video and you enjoy making these cute face scrubbies as much as I did. Make sure that you guys like, subscribe, and comment on my channel. Don't forget to share and ring that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more of these fun tutorials. And that's it. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.